Um, Choi Sing Woo. Uh, he's a South Korean fighter, but he's not a Taekwondo uh, martial artist. Mm. I, I, when, usually when I see uh, a name like that, I am go, all right, sweet, South Korean. But he was not a Taekwondo. He's actually a Muay Thai fighter. Um, actually, I believe he actually holds a bronze medal, I believe, in a, in a Muay Thai um, championship. He's a three-time champ, uh, champion in another org- organization. I think it's Top Fighting Championship. Not super familiar with that promotion, but he's, I believe he's a three-time champion in that. He defeated um, Yusuf Zalal, okay, the, the Moroccan devil. I don't know if you've seen him before. Um, everyone was expecting Zalal to beat him. The Zalal, the, the shorter uh, man, especially in, in terms of height and reach. And I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think Choi is someone to keep an eye on. I just thought he was... He didn't like being on the ground, and I think his his grappling. He did some good takedowns. I, I think he only threw. He only went for maybe two or three takedowns. But I thought his takedown. I know you didn't see the fight, um, unfortunately, because it was a lot. I think it was the second or third fight on the prelims. Mm-hmm. But he's a guy to watch. He's a featherweight, and I bl- like on. It's weird now because on. On Wikipedia, it says he's six foot. On Tapology, it says he's five foot eleven. However, I'm fairly <laughs> yeah, certain I'm. He looked huge. I think he and I'm like five eleven myself, but I <laughs> thought he looked six foot mm-hmm. or bigger. And he's featherweight. He was. I actually. I don't know how he cuts to that weight because he actually had a decent amount of muscle on on him as well. He was just his his footwork was really really good. He was light on his on his toes, but then he he was light on his toes with moving. But then when he was actually going back to that very strict Muay Thai style, his leg kicks were cracker. He was so fast. His switch kicks were, were brilliant. He didn't he didn't have many complex array of kicks, but I felt like Choi did really, really well in this in this fight. He mixed in a few takedowns. He I think he's someone to watch in the featherweight division. Both are unranked right now. I know uh Zalal is got a he actually had a decent amount of hype on him. Um, I believe he lost his last fight, actually, unfortunately. But Zalal's actually got a decent amount of hype around him. Still very young, uh, just as Song Wu as well. But I, Choi is someone to keep an eye on because his kickboxing was... I could just notice his kickboxing was so fluid. His movement was very dynamic. He wasn't these flat-footed Muay Thai fighters that, you know, will take one to throw one and then just be tougher than the other fighter, especially when it comes to leg kicks. He was... He had cardio for days. He was he was obviously very intelligent with how he was moving in and out of distance. I thought he I thought he was brilliant. I, I thought as as soon as Zalal switched stance, he mm. would notice that. As soon as he went into Southpaw, he would just crack him. Bang, left leg. He would butcher that leg and he would make it would force him to switch switch stances. I think he's a very intelligent fighter. He's very good on the on the feet. The only Hole I could see for him in the future is grappling wise. Um, I saw that he was doing well with his takedowns. I thought he mixed in takedowns very well and a little bit of uh, a little bit of defensive wrestling. He was so tall, so it was so easy for him just to scoop underneath and get the underhook. And he only he was so big against Zalal that I mean Zalal's about five ten or something like that. But the, when you looked at both of them, it looked way more than than a few inches. It was so easy for him just to slide in one arm, get the underhook, and he never had to get the second underhook. He just needed to pin the arm and just hold him there and either reverse him or just disengage and go straight back into... He, his leg kicks, so fast. His body kicks, and he, he would switch stances as well. I think he's someone to watch. I, I love watching the South Korean fighters because they're so their technique is so good. And it was... I could also appreciate it too because his... His kickboxing wasn't based on um, Taekwondo. It was based on Muay Thai. And he didn't... And I like to see when they don't have a full-on flat-footed style. It was very dynamic, but he had cracker power, just mm-hmm. like those Muay Thai fighters. So he's someone to watch. And I, and I expect him to... I expect him to be actually a, an issue in the, in the featherweight division. He's unranked right now. I'd love for him to next get a fight in the top 15. I think so. I think this was his second or his third fight in the UFC. I want to see him fight again. Uh, I who's I always appreciate um, these kickboxers that have really good technique. Izzy, Dan Hooker, the list can go on. I think he's uh, he's a problem at featherweight. I really, mm. really.